Knock it out. Okay, I'll we'll set the clock. Ready? Mm hmm. Set. You look handsome. Thank you. I like the black. I'm like bacon in it. It's like hot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, like a light. We win. Okay. We stop playing. You can see that. I can't can see you it. stop, please? Could you read that first line? No, from, no. That's not very I nice. Not. Please. You wrote it. I know I can't see it. <laughs> Could you read it? Derek, can you please? Just read the first line, please. Three ways to keep your marriage hot. Speaking of hot. Just go ahead and take it. I know, I'm trying to tell you. Just go ahead, just grab one. I was trying to brush my teeth, but I don't want to mess up my lipstick. Go ahead and take two. <laughs> just, just in case. Okay, can we? <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Hot. Are you ready? Okay. And... Five, four, three, two. No, you say two, one. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to Can We Talk, I'm Derek. And I'm Sonia, thank you for watching. Today's episode, you know, we changed that up because I, I now do it now. I know. I like that. That's Today's cool. episode is entitled, Three Ways to Keep Your Marriage Hot. Yes. Hot, meaning honest, open, and transparent. Y'all thought we were going to talk about sex. I know, we've been getting phrases, we've been getting uh, comments about our sexuality on this vlog. Yeah, we're not going to talk about sex. We're going to we talk can, about... We can always talk about sex. You can. Three ways to keep your marriage hot. So, can we talk? So, first way, number one, is talk about the tough things. Because we're talking about hot, meaning hot, honest, open, and transparent. So we're talking about have a conversation about the tough things, the difficult things, the things that you don't want to talk about, the things that are swept under the carpet. And sometimes the obvious things. So many times in our sessions, couples will tell us something in our session and we'll say, did you ever talk about that with your spouse? And they'll be like, no. And it's like really important stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to understand how come you didn't. Yeah. Because it's tough. Because there's fear because there's uncertainty, uncertainty as to what the other person is gonna say, or you just don't know how to be vulnerable. You weren't taught how, you tried before and you were hurt, whatever the reason. But we can't imagine how people get through life in their marriages and they don't talk about the tough things. <laughs> we had a couple today in mm -hmm. our session. They had a conversation about something that they hadn't had a conversation before or they were arguing about it before right and they had a breakthrough and they said that they talked about it mm -hmm. you're still talking about it mm -hmm. but they were honest and open and transparent because the one thing that I heard one of the one of the two had said was that they're just tired of going into that cycle over and over and over and over again and it was time to have a conversation. So a hot conversation about the particular topic that they were talking about. And so uh, talk about the tough things. You know, it's the past hurts that, that are difficult to talk about. So if there's past hurts, talk about the hurt that you may have caused. Mm. 
say, look, okay, I own that. I own that, you know, I talked about your, your little tiny baby ears, and I know that it hurts. I talked about his head. Right. And, and his turtleneck got stuck in. Right. <laughs> and when I was calling her, she didn't hear me. It was a life-threatening situation. I can hear. It has absolutely nothing to do with my eardrum. You don't have an eardrum. I do have an eardrum. Your ears are too small. It's so, 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 so if you've caused hurt, you want to own it. Look, I'm sorry that I talked about you and I hurt you. Will you forgive me? And then you have to wait for the answer. Right. And if you don't know if you can forgive at that time, you just have to say, can I take some time to think about it? Don't leave the person hanging, though. Don't just not say anything. That's rude. And if you do forgive, then forgive and heal. Heal together, because sometimes couples may forgive and they just keep on moving on and there's no obligation to the relationship mm -hmm. to try to make it work and heal from the marriage and they just want to stay in that place. So once you do forgive, you want to forgive and heal together. We had an episode in season two, The Greatest Gift You Could Give Your Spouse, and it was forgiveness. Go back and watch it. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Okay, that was number one. Mm -hmm. Can you not do that? Mm -hmm. You didn't ask me about this. I know. I'm just trying to figure out why you have it there. It's distracting so, me. I want to. No, don't blow. Keep, keep blowing the mists. Listen, the reason why, if you look at our, what episode was that? Pet peeves. When we went to get the massages and I said, I want to go into the massage place mm -hmm. and smell the Aromas. aroma. Well, we had one today. We were on time, by the way. We were yes, on time. Yes, we were. We went there. I got my little apple cinnamon water. Mm -hmm. I sat down and drank it. Mm -hmm. And they gave us a, a free aroma therapy thingy. Yeah. And they put the towel on your nose and you smell it's it. It's like a free enhancement in yes. your lotion. So and they so, put a scent in your lotion. So Sonia brought the scent. scent. Mm -hmm. And so I want to maintain the scent. Uh -huh. That's why I have it up. All here. right. It's all on your body too, right? Yeah. From the lotion? Yeah. Okay. It's Can I smell it? I smell it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and smell it. Oh, God. So that's why I have that here. Okay. 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 And we're talking about three ways to keep so, the marriage. So, number two. Number two. Spend time alone. Spend time alone. You know, some of y'all don't spend time alone. I mean, y'all have the kids and you think that that's it. You got kids, you're never going to ever be alone again. We leave our kids. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> now, we have family <laughs> outings too, you know, because you know they're not playing that. Right. they like, okay, so y'all been away for two weekends. What's up with that? Right. So we're not ignoring them, but we definitely spend time without them jokers. <laughs> yeah, we're, we do FaceTime with Sian. <laughs> Hi, Cece. Hi, Cece. And so she, she calls at like oh, 1 o'clock in the morning. Gosh. And hi, hello, <laughs> hello, family. <laughs> and she comes on and she's on FaceTime. Cause I'm, she's I'm all asleep. perky because, by the way, so, Alabama's an hour behind. So it's always earlier where she is. So right. if she's calling at midnight, her time so, is 1 o'clock our time. So she's on FaceTime trying to want to talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. You know, mm -hmm. we want to spend that clock. But at some point, I'm hitting the button. Bloop. Child anymore, like... I'm going to graduate, and then that's when my life begins. True. I'm not coming home and, like, you know, stay with you guys. That's true. You're on your I'm own. Not, no. I'm going to come back. Please do. I mean, yeah. you could always come back and get an apartment. That's how you're supposed to do it. No. You stay with you guys. No, that's not yeah. happening. No, absolutely not. Yeah. You come home. And you look for a job, you get an apartment, and you get on your own. That's how it works. Apartment means bills. Yes, bills. That's what happens when you go to school and graduate. You pay your bills. Mm, I just want to skip that part. You can't skip that part. And you're not staying here. <laughs> <laughs> just not, you're not staying here. So what happens? I'm, I'm 27. I ring the doorbell. Sorry, the reception's bad. <laughs> night, night. Bye, bye. See you later. So, poor thing. This is what she does now. She sends a text. Y'all up? Right. Yeah. She <laughs> she asks now because she knows she's gonna get the. She boot. know she know you be doing that to her. That's I not know, nice. I love you, baby be doing girl. that to the baby girl. But we're talking about spending time alone, mm -hmm. and sometimes we're so busy. 
clients and traveling, we don't get a, ch a chance to really sit down and spend time alone. And even if it's just 10 minutes in the bed, just kind of chilling. So you can uh, make it, you can make time. Yeah, be creative Yeah, where mm -hmm. you go. Yeah, I mean, one time Derek and I just said, we gotta go get some gas for the car. And we drove to Burger King and ate ice cream in the parking lot. Yeah. And the kids were already you, in bed. You so. have to get out of your house, out of your comfort zone. Yeah. I don't, I don't like surprises. I don't like, the, well, I can do spontaneity, but I have to get out of my comfort zone to do the things that are important for our marriage. So that's number two, spending time and You alone. just get the cards so you could throw them, don't you? Yes. Number three, have fun together. Do you have fun with me? I, I do. I really, honestly, okay, all jokes aside, let me be serious for a minute. I really have fun with you because you're really funny. <laughs> so are you. No, seriously. I mean, like, in a good way. Like, mm -hmm. I really, we have our, you know, we have our inside jokes. We have jokes with our kids. We have our inside jokes. Create inside jokes. Like, if you're sitting there and you're in church and you know... <laughs> Somebody breath, they just walk in and they're just stinking. He just, and you don't say you smile. Hey, how you doing? Praying for you. Praying for you. But that thing is just all up in the nostrils. <laughs> but we have inside jokes. We're not going to tell you what the inside joke is because y'all going to look at it like, are they talking about that? But our kids have inside jokes too. Yeah. And then the, we, your family has inside jokes. And as a husband and wife, we have inside jokes who drive our kids crazy because sometimes right. they want to know what the joke is about. Right. And we won't tell them. Because right. sometimes it's of sexual in nature. Yeah. Sometimes it's not, but... Yeah. A lot of our movies, we have a lot of lines from movies that we use in everyday life with our kids. And that's funny. That keeps I life. give them a few. I got I got one. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> what movie's that from? <laughs> Good luck. How about hey, hello family. Hello family. That's from a, a show the kids watch. Yeah, Good Luck was from Taken mm -hmm. Two? No, the one. first one. That was one. That's the yeah. first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are the kind of things, you know, like we may go out somewhere and she's leaving, Sonya's leaving to go somewhere. She said, bye, see you later. I'll say, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> or she's going to talk to somebody she really want to talk to, good luck. So. <laughs> Derek has this one where he goes, see. <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. That's, that, that goes that's, back that's when I was. That's real bad. And he I does was, it a lot, like in public in people's faces, and they don't know that he's doing yeah. it. And I'll just walk away because I'm so embarrassed. Like, I just walk away. Yeah. You know, life is too serious. I mean, we're, we're, we're in that season of, we're coming out. We're not even coming out. Your of beard it. is nice. Thank you. You like that? I trimmed that thing I up. I like it. You it's like kind it? of. It's bushier than usual. Yeah, it's a little bushier. I need to feel it. Go ahead and feel it. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Mm. Oh, watch it now. Watch it. Watch it now. There's a grown man here. <laughs> you mess with a grown man. You're, you keep saying that. I know I'm a you're a grown man. Why do you keep saying that? Like you, I'm not a grown woman. Did <laughs> you get turned out? <laughs> <laughs> you might be a little boy. You get turned out up in this camp. Look, what it is. <laughs> Don't get turned out. I forgot my mom watches oh, this. Oh Lord. Hi mom. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me how to Tearing it out. What? My mom, mom was, did not teach you that. She taught me how to respect women. I know. How to love them. Right. This is PG. This yeah. is PG rated. Okay, Stop have, it. have fun together. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> just get carried away. It's late night. But I was saying having fun. So we, we're in a season of mm. loss. Mm. And we're in a season just of loss. We haven't had time to even mourn. Um, and we're going into this month, if you've been following us for the past couple of years, November is the most difficult month of the year. If November, you can go from October to December and skip November, that would mm -hmm. be cool. Mm -hmm. Because this is the month, actually. Well, we can't skip it because I'm born in the month of November. Well, you can't skip it, but there's so many th emotions. You know, this is the month where uh, Sonia's sister passes. It'll be 18 years tomorrow. In two hours. In two hours, 18 years, mm -hmm. Carla passed. Uh, two and her days birthday ago, was yesterday. Her, her birthday was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sonia's birthday is next week. Mm -hmm. So they celebrated their birthdays together for the- As for long the, as I lived. So, you know, that mm -hmm. void, that's a void, that's a big void. I mean, she was the um, party girl. I didn't even have to plan my party. She planned a party for both of us. She'd be sitting right us. here behind me, just watching. Yep. And then no, she'd she say, y'all whack. That's all y'all gonna do tonight? <laughs> I'm gone, I'm out. <laughs> and then she'd leave us. Yeah. Oh gosh. So, but we still have fun together. Yeah. Um, and like us, life is too serious to not have fun. If you 
If you are married to a fuddy-duddy guy, uh, do something funny to make him come out of fuddy-duddy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What can someone do to if you just fuddy-duddy? Be spontaneous. Yeah. You know, just say I'm gonna surprise you with something and don't tell him. Don't even tell him you're gonna surprise him. Right. Just, just right. do it. Yeah. Just, and something that would make him laugh or something, or her, either, either or the wife. There's some women who are just kind of puckered. I think people are puckered and fuddy-duddy because they still are carrying a lot of hurt and grief That's and sadness. Coming. Go ahead. I do because yeah. I think it's, you know, yeah. I think it eventually it fills up in that cup. Mm -hmm. And there's no room for joy. There's no room for laughter. There's no room for fun. You got to empty that cup. That's yeah. what counseling does. Yeah. Some some of our clients just sit there and talk about the pain and get it out their cup, and then they have room the next day to go on a date, right? Or to laugh or do something funny. Yeah. And I mean, life is hard. You know, a lot of people are struggling. Now, it may not be hard for you, protect particularly if you're watching, but some people watching life is a struggle every day. Life is, life is hard, and and it's important to daily empty your cup so that you have room for the good things that life has to offer. Yeah, because there's so many good things in life. Mm -hmm. What movie was that from? John Q. Oh, yeah. yeah John Q. There's so many good things. Choose the good, that's yeah. what he said. Choose the good things. Yeah, yeah. stay yeah. away from the bad things, yeah, Don't son. smoke. That was John Q. John don't drink. Q. Denzel Washington. Yeah. Women, there's gonna come a time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was sweet. Yeah. So that as, was just on, yeah, the other day. Mm -hmm. So, and as you tell, we love movies. So, anyway, mm -hmm. that's three ways to make your marriage hot. What is that? Honest, open, open, and, and transparent. transparent. We try our best to be transparent with our viewers and even with our clients because we really believe that there's a lot of. Um, power in being honest and truthful. And so many people are walking around in facades. Even people that are married, you know, they show up and they, they look the part and then they go home and they're miserable. They're struggling, they're fighting. And I think it's because you're not being honest, open and transparent at home. True. You know? True. And then you, you feel like you have to show up and be okay. And there's so many people not okay Mm -hmm. that are walking around like they're okay. Yeah. So we really try to be transparent, which is why even when we're having conflict, we will, you know, let the camera roll, as you've seen in a few episodes that we've had. Yeah. And we're just, we, you know, it's not to sensationalize the conflict. It's just to show you that conflict happens, but you don't have to be destroyed by it. Right. Very well said. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Blast off. Blast off. <laughs> Thank you. That's Blast another off. inside joke. There's no more smoke in there. I know. I think it's out of water. I think it needs to be re uh, frozen, did it? Huh? Frozen. Frozen. <laughs> he put the smoke out with his. Oh, you are seriously in play <laughs> mode right now. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, thank you for watching. Well, we want to recap, okay? Three ways to keep your marriage hot honest, open, and transparent. The first one talk about the tough stuff. The second one, spend time alone. The third one, have fun. Have fun. You remember all that? Yeah. That was This is what we teach it. Bam. Bam. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that you know what, what you're, you're going to do, do with it. it, we'd love to hear from you. We do. Send us some comments. Yeah. Don't forget to share. Share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Ask some questions. Like there it. There's some good questions Give on there. Give the video to someone else who needs it. Yeah, and until next time, take great yeah. care of yourselves. Bye. Bye-bye. Down, 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 down,